So let me write the following code. So we have just one variable, let's say x. So the value of x is 5, nothing um, new. But I will define another variable y and I will assign the following value. Surprisingly, we get again 5. In C programming, 0b stands for a binary number. So 101 is not 101, it is actually 5. Because if we convert 101 binary number to the decimal number, we get 5. So if we insert 0b prefix in front of the number, this number becomes a binary number. You may ask why we need binary numbers when writing our code. Uh, when working with the microcontrollers, we have to control the value of each bit. Um, we work on a, on a bit level. That's why having an ability to assign binary number is quite useful when writing our code. But uh, using binary number poses another problem for us. So imagine having some number, something like this. So we have a long sequence of ones and the zeros. So when writing this binary number, we can make um, a silly mistake, like writing one instead of zero. And all, in addition to that, um, it is quite time consuming. So working with binary number is, um, is error prone and time consuming. But of course, um, an obvious solution is to convert this uh, binary number to, to the decimal number. But um, this conversion is not straightforward. We have to do some computations to do that. Therefore, we use hexadecimal numbering system in C programming. So let me explain how it works. In a binary numbering system, we have base 2, which means we have only two digits, 0 and 1. In decimal number system, we have base 10. That's why we have the following 10 digits. But in hexadecimal numbering system, we have base 16, which means having 16 digits. So this table represents all these digits. So we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So until 9, nothing new. We just uh, copying the digits that we are familiar with. But when it comes to 10, we don't have a digit for 10 in decimal number system. So we use 1, 0 instead of that. But in hexadecimal number system, since we have base 16, we have all the digits up to 15. So, so so instead of 10, we use um, digit A. Instead of 11, we have B, uh, 12, um, C, 13, D, 14, E, and finally 15, F. So A, B, C, D, E, F are not symbols. They're real digits. So they represent digits between 10 and 15. Um, so you might ask why we need a hexadecimal number system. In fact, in hexadecimal number system, we have base 16, which is equal to 2 to the power of 4. It means that we can represent 4 uh, binary digits using just a single hexadecimal digit. So the conversion from binary to hexadecimal is a straightforward process. So let's uh, get back to our example. So imagine that we have this digit. So we want to uh, convert this uh, number into the hexadecimal number. First, we just divide this um, digit into chunks uh, that have uh, four digits. So. Uh, 
Then starting from the least significant bits, we start writing the corresponding hexadecimal digit. 1110. This is equal to um, 14, which is a letter, which is a digit E in in the hexadecimal numbering system. Then we have again 110, which is again E. Then we have 1010, which is 10, so we write A. Um, 0111. This is equal to 7, then 0, 1, 0, 0. This is equal to 4. Then we have only two digits, so we can just add imaginary to zeros. So we have 0, 0, 1, 0, which is equal to 2. So let's assign this number to y. Of course, we need to remove these symbols. And I will create another integer number and I'm going to assign this value. So, this is um, so we want to assign a hexadecimal number to this variable. For that purpose, we have to use 0x prefix to specify that this is a hexadecimal number. So as you see, we got exactly the same numbers for Y and Z. So this and these numbers are equal. So instead of writing these long sequels of ones and the zeros, we can just write these digits. And converting from hexadecimal to the binary is also quite straightforward process so instead of uh, for each uh, hexadecimal digit we just write the corresponding four binary digits I want to show one more thing um, so we use um, uh, D symbol to print um, number as a as a decimal number but if we insert, but in, if we write instead of dx, we uh, print uh, the hex uh, version of the number in the console. Um, so this was a quick introduction of um, numbering systems in C. Next, we will learn about bitwise operators and other things to work with the uh, microcontroller without using the HAL API.